What's going on, guys? It's Ryan once again here with Michigan Storm Chasers. I have a little bit of an update to share with you guys here in regards to today's severe weather threat. We talked yesterday morning that there was no severe risk in the state at that point, suggested they could have put one, and they certainly did. The entire lower part of Michigan, as well as the extreme eastern part of the UP, now sits in a marginal risk of severe weather. This is level one out of five. Now, I noticed there is a sliver on the west side of lower Michigan that is not within that marginal risk, but these guidelines here go within a 25-mile point, so it basically extends all the way to the West Michigan Lakeshore, all right? Entire state here. Now, there is a highlighted corridor we're going to mention here, uh, perhaps some higher potential for some severe weather. We're going to break this down as best as possible, as quick as possible. All right. So your two main concerns per SPC outlooks today are damaging winds as your primary. This is going to be the exact same areas, entire lower part of Michigan, as well as the eastern part of the UP. Eastern part would be Chippewa, Mackinac counties. Okay. Other threat is hail. And that does stop short of the Ohio border, but it's very close to the entire lower part of Michigan here. So we're just going to say if there's any storm that pops up today, damaging winds and large hail across much of the entire state, minus most of the UP, again, only encompassing the eastern half of the UP in that risk for severe today, including the hail risk. Now, SPC does not have any designated area here for a tornado. All right. So they're thinking the threat is overall too low to mention. However, we're going to mention one area to watch closely this afternoon. All right. Now, with that being said, your SPC outlook, we'll leave it right here for you. Take a screenshot if you need to. Uh, we'll come back to this here in a second. But let's go ahead and dive into our models very quickly here. Now, I will say, go ahead and pop out the extension bar here. We're going to take a zoomed in look here. Uh, for our lower Michigan. Now, I understand the UP is on, isn't a threat today, but I will just go ahead and preface this by saying the UP right now on the models looks to just have some general thunderstorms here. We'll see if that plays out correctly. I want to give you guys a zoomed in look here because uh, there's one area I want to mention for, a, for perhaps a tornado or two possible. All right, now this is the latest 12Z HRRR model. We're going to run this through the time frame. This is at 11 p.m. or 11 a.m., sorry. So about two hours or about an hour to two hours from now, depending on when you're going to watch the video. This is at 11 a.m. Notice how these showers going up across the West Michigan Lakeshore here. Now, as we get toward that noon, one o'clock, watch this cell right here. It's going to track eastward. There's a couple cells there that look pretty interesting. Right around that 2 to right around 5 p.m., perhaps over into the thumb as well. If you guys remember the Gladwin County tornado uh, a few weeks ago, this seems to have a very similar look to this. We have a supercell, looks like a supercell here, that tracks right over the exact same areas across the Saginaw Bay and into Port Austin in the thumb. Looks like a very, very similar setup in, re in regards to the overall placement of that storm. All right, but I will highlight that one area. Go ahead and pop up my extension tool here and draw for you guys. This corridor right up here would be a concern that I would highlight for potential tornadic development or maybe a super salt tries to rotate at least. All right, the reason I say that is jumping over here to our another website here to our same model, the HRRR at 12Z, we can actually take a forecast sounding and we'll load in the atmosphere profile here. I want to mention a few things here. Number one, our shear, which I'm going to zoom in here, make this as easy as possible. Our shear looks pretty darn good. We are missing just a tad bit of low-level spin, but there is enough there that I'd be concerned for. There's a lot of instability here in the lowest level. Our lapse rates are good. We have really good instability at most levels here. We are lacking just a bit in the mix layer, but also our hodograph, which is their measure with wind with height, is really well curved here in the lowest levels of the atmosphere. So when I look at this forecast sounding, there's a few things missing here. We can go really in depth if you want to, uh, but this would suggest perhaps some amount of rotation would be possible 
uh, as well. If this storm can break through the little bit of a cap we have here uh, as well in the atmosphere. But overall, the wind shear is well-oriented. Our instability is really good. We're missing a few things to kind of make this a more so concerned tornadic environment. But it does mention the warrant, or I think it does warrant mention that there could be one or two areas, or should I say one or two storms that may try to rotate right around that 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. time frame. Uh, you're seeing on the model here, that does pop up right around that Gladwin County area. It tracks across uh, that area into the Thumb of Michigan. So we're going to watch that close. We'll be here tracking that live if need be. All right. Outside of that, we are seeing multiple rounds here of showers and storms for much of the state. Again, this is going to be widely scattered as we get into the afternoon here. That one area looks to be highest concern at 4 p.m., but notice we get into the evening, we have these other showers and storms developing across lower Michigan. Notice the UP stays pretty much subtle up there for now through 6 p.m. Eastern. Move that through 7 to 8 p.m., and just some scattered showers here. Now, I will say the atmosphere today does have a lot of what we call downdraft cape, uh, so definitely could see some microburst potential, and that would then lead to damaging winds, et cetera, et cetera. So any storm that does pop up across lower Michigan, and it, we're going to say perhaps eastern parts of UP as well, do have potential uh, for damaging winds via microbursts or downbursts, okay? That is your gist. Main time frame will be right around that 2 p.m., I think. Could be a little bit earlier than that for sure. But your severe threat should be started right around 2 p.m. to roughly 7 to 8 p.m., perhaps a little bit after that as well. Uh, but overall, I know there's a lot of people here who still have July 4th plans. There's fireworks tonight. Uh, just be mindful. We do have a severe threat today. Damaging winds, primary concern, large hail, secondary, a low risk for a tornado up there where we mentioned before. I will highlight that one more time here. Go ahead and X out this uh, sounding real quick. Uh, the other areas in the state do not look to have much in the way of any tornadic risk here. We see this gray color. That's basically your better environment here. We see a really good environment right around the Tri-City area, perhaps up here in northern lower, but we go to southern lower here. We're not seeing much in the way of anything that would concern us for anything tornadic at all. So it should be a pretty localized environment for anything tornadic if it were to occur at all. All right, so I'm highlight that point that out it's not gonna be a statewide tornadic event i just think there's one corridor we could see a, a storm try to spin up something a little bit later on this afternoon so one of my i want i want to mention that even though spc doesn't mention the two percent risk there is an area there to watch all right with that being said i believe i covered everything timing is around around 2 to 8 p.m or so and again damaging wind should be your primary concern across the entire state uh today all right with that being said, there is one last look at your SPC marginal risk. We'll have another update on the page, not a live stream, but an update around probably 1230 when the new SPC day one comes out. If anything changes, we'll let you guys know. Otherwise, you'll see me and Joel on here a bit later tracking these storms live coverage on radar here at Michigan Storm Chasers, both on YouTube and Facebook. With that being said, smash that like button for me. You guys have a safe day.